Hey, what's up? Just look at the size of this projector. It is about two times smaller than my iPhone 12. You know, it is probably the most compact projector that I have ever tested. So this is Centrim L1, and we will do unboxing and full review of it in this video. Before we start, I want to talk about the main features of the new projector. It has Android 9.0 operating system, 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of storage, Bluetooth 5.0 and Wi-Fi support, 3000 mAh battery and 2 hours of battery life, HDMI and USB ports for connection external devices. Ok, now we can start the review of Centrim L1 projector. On the box of projector, we can read about its main features, such as dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mini HDMI, USB, 16 gigs memory card, and touch control. By the way, I forgot to tell you that Centrim L1 has a 3D support. However, you need to buy a 3D glasses additional. In this box, we have a projector itself, tripod, remote control, power adapter, micro USB charging cable, HDMI to mini HDMI cable, and user manual. So the main feature of Centrim L1 projector is compact size. Its dimensions are only 80 by 80 by 25 mm. As already said, it is almost two times smaller than iPhone 12, but much thicker. The top and bottom panels are made of plastic, while side faces are metal. The projector is available in this single gray color. On the front we can see a lens and ventilation holes. Then there is a power button and power switch on the right side. On the left, projector has focus wheel and memory card slot. All the ports and connectors are located on the back, such as DC in, reset hull, mini HDMI port, USB port, and 3.5mm audio jack. There is also a speaker grill on the back of projector. As already said, Centrim L1 comes with a tripod, and uh, there is a tripod hull at the bottom. If you don't want to use a tripod, then a projector stands on as a four rubber feet. Finally, there is a touch control panel at the top. We can volume up and down, as well as go to home screen, settings menu, and return. However, I think it is better to use a remote control. There are standard buttons such as power on off, mute, volume up and down, but you can also use a mouse mode button. Just press on this button, and you will have the mouse cursor on the projection. Centrim L1 is a real portable projector, because it has very compact size and built-in battery. For example, you can use it for outdoor camping. As I already said, this projector has Android 9.0 operating system. Let's take a look at user interface. When you first power on a projector, you can see the following screen. Here we can go to App Center, Open Browser, File Browser, HDMI In, eShare, AirPlay, Settings Menu, and Play Store. You can also add quick access apps, such as Netflix, YouTube, and others. Centrim L1 projector has many pre-installed apps. You can find them in App Center. And there is Chrome, Hulu, Kodi, Miracast, Movie Player, Netflix, Play Store, Spotify, etc. Talking about settings menu, there is Network, Bluetooth, Language, Date and Time, Projection, Audio and other settings. In the network settings we can connect to Wi-Fi network and even create a hotspot. In Bluetooth settings we can connect a computer mouse, keyboard or even gamepad to projector. Centrim L1 supports many languages. I think that there are all languages that are available in the world. In projection settings, we can choose order and manual rotate screen, projection mode, brightness, keystone correction vertical and horizontal, as well as screen zoom. In the audio settings, we can only change the volume. However, you can do the same with remote control. Finally, the other settings is standard settings menu of Android operating system. You have a similar settings menu on your Android smartphone. Ok, before talking about projection quality, I want to measure the noise and volume levels. You know, Centrim L1 is a very compact projector, so it has a small cooling fan. It means that that projector doesn't make a lot of noise. The noise level is only about 30 dB. However, because of the compact size, projector also has a small speaker. The sound volume is about 60 dB. If you want to watch movies at home, it is better to connect an external speaker. Fortunately, there is a Bluetooth support, so you don't need any cables. 
I have placed a projector at a distance of 2 meters from the wall, so I have a projection size of about 60 inches. The maximum screen size of a Centrium L1 projector is 120 inches. You know the new projector supports up to 4K resolution, but the native resolution is 854 by 480 pixels. I think it is the main problem of this projector, because you cannot use it for office. It is almost impossible to read the small text of projection. Can you read the link of this website? It is very difficult. It is also very hard to read the name of the videos on YouTube. However, when you play games, the text is readable. The brightness of Centrium L1 projector is only 60 NC lumens, but I think it is enough to watch videos in a dark room. The colors are also quite good. The contrast ratio is 500 to 1. I have also tested the projector in a bright room. Unfortunately, the brightness of 60 NC lumens is not enough to use a projector with light on. You know, I didn't tell you the price of this projector, but it is quite high, almost $300. However, for this money you will get a very compact projector with built-in battery and 2 hours of battery life, Android 9.0 operating system, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support. Centrium L1 is a compact projector, so it doesn't make any noise. It was a big surprise for me, because most other projectors are quite loud. Centrium L1 also supports 3D, but I don't have 3D glasses, so I didn't check this function. I also like Otaki Stone Correction, 16 gigs of storage and 2 gigs of RAM. The performance is very good. As for the drawbacks, I think the speaker is very quiet. It is better to connect the headphones for external speaker. The native resolution is only 854 by 480 pixels, so this projector is not for office. It is almost impossible to read the text on it. So if you don't have a lot of space at home, or if you want a portable projector, then Centrium L1 is a good option. The projection quality in a dark room is decent. There is also a built-in Android operating system, so you don't need to connect external devices, such as TV box, game console, laptop, etc. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, Tech Brothers.